right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre, Bizarre Adventure, Adventure. Part 3, Episode 30. Okay. Right. We have a very pretty woman. Pretty, pretty, pretty woman. woman. Yeah, now, now, she did not seem to have the proper shoulder span for being a stand <laughs> user, but I think... Saying we're breaking the rule again? I, I think we're breaking the rule again. I think that this is a trend that will continue then. Of breaking then can, the rule? Well, breaking the shoulder span rule. Oh, mm, yeah. sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, we're, we're eventually probably just going to have all kinds of things be stands and stand yep, users. Yep, so yep. Uh, yeah, there you it's go. true. Yeah. Uh, but specifically, this girl had the ray hair. Yes. Yes. You Something know that, like that. that specific color uh -huh. of hair. Right, Which right. means that I think we're going to get uh, uh, a very smart but soft-spoken character. Mm. Like a character that isn't going to be very... Uh, Erina or Lisa Lisa, very... A different those, type of character. Yeah, but, very this, different but this person is a stand user. Like This person is definitely yeah. a stand user. Yeah. I think that any time they end an episode Showing with a showcasing new a new character... They're a stand user. They're a stand user. Yeah. I or mean, they're just a stand. You know, they're, like, they're actually the stand. Like, you know, one of those two. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I would love having a pretty woman as my stand. That would be, would be awesome. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. So I mean, the real question too. is, so the real question is, how is Jotaro going to deal with this lady? Jotaro? Yeah. I mean, because Polnareff, Polnareff's well, the one. We, well, we know what Polnareff's going to do. We know what Polnareff's going to do. But <laughs> what are the rest of them going to do? Mm, we'll see then. We will. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Oops. Ah, yes, that's right. Mm. Oh, yeah. He looks like a badass Miraluka. He does. I hope this look continues because it's awesome. Oh, dang. Ah! Wow! Wow! What a bastard! Oh! Wait, mm. Speed the wagon! <laughs> I love this continuity yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know? uh -huh. That's right, because Kakyon is a high school kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh. Joseph Josta. Yeah, Kakyon is in high school. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but you see how he was kind of going over each of their names? Mm -hmm. What if... What if a girl is now finally the end of one of them? The one who makes the most sense is Polnareff. And we've talked a lot about how... I think the one who makes the most sense would actually be uh, Joseph. Oh, it does because kind of. we know he's got... But he's ones. way up there with, like... Polnareff like, is way up there with see, Joseph. Cause, no, no, because see, here's the thing. Polnareff is the wannabe. <laughs> Joseph actually has like game. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the thing that's kind of weird though is that Joseph is still super old, but he's got that like, yeah, I'm an Indiana Jones kind of <laughs> old, super rich guy, and it's like, oh wait, stop. stop that's not. Well, because here's the thing: this entire part of JoJo's is only happening because Joseph got laid. I. I like, <laughs> I mean, think about it. Think about it. It's not wrong. The lights are pager. Oh no, go Bushiwa, Tata Kikome. Hey, I actually did it. End of the world. Took it a bit too long there. I took it way too far, because that's my star platinum boy. Okay. Yes. Romare has the divine Bastet. Part one. Or is it Bastet? Bastet. En français. Oui, oui. Oh. Well, you know, upon the rest, going. Where is Gramps? Huh. Huh. Love how anything unusual in the bathroom. Yes. Polnareff has this thing with them. Ah! Yeah, yeah, you can never be too sure. Oh, oh my and the wind didn't make it. Oh, oh, that 
That's gross. <laughs> that means you could be breathing poop right now. Sand. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Yep, yep. <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh no, the escalator. <laughs> oh, good, you're smart, yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, you're gonna get crushed eventually by your own. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh. Lady in the miniskirt. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how specific he's being uh -huh. about. Yeah, yeah. Well oh done. My oh my gosh. <laughs> he's slowly moving towards his death. You know? I love that Joseph is the one that's getting targeted. Yes, yes, same here. Dang. Oh. Yep, with a hermit purple. Yep, yeah, yep, okay. Awesome, great. awesome. There isn't one. <gasps> they did cut corners! <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's just on the other side. Uh huh. Yeah, I think actually the scary thing is that. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh God. <sighs> Paging Mr. Josta. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, it was in the process of breaking his hands into pieces. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wait, the chains actually fell off? あ、<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> and she you know just be really dangerous is if she just had a bag of iron powder and just released it. It would all just cover his body. Then he wouldn't be able to breathe or anything. Keep you from moving. <laughs> <laughs> Well placed hands, Abdul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, leave me because the magnetism will, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, it'll get weaker the farther away you are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> when I like door it, magnetically <laughs> opens for him. <laughs> what I like about this uh, this instance here is that. She can kind of lead them on a chase, and it's just gonna get worse and worse any anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the, the distorting of the angles and stuff. Huh. <laughs> just gonna look like they're peeping, so they'll be like. I'm just like, I'm an honorable man! I must not do this! Hmm. <sighs> menacing legs, menacing feet. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Not her. Yep, yep. Ah! Ah! Yes! Yes! I was gonna say, those don't look the same, so. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh! <laughs> 
That means Abdul thought that highly of the old lady's legs. This is not <laughs> 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 Is that foreshadowing that she's gonna make one on her butt or something? Oh! Oh! Dang! That means they could end up getting stuck to each other. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for a three, yeah, three-legged race time. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if this was like Kakyoin and Jotaro, the shippers would be well, going no, nuts. No, imagine if they had been facing each other when the magnetism started. Wait, aren't those little buttons on her pants though? So, or on her skirt? I mean, but maybe they're you know not made of something that's a magnetic you know metal or something. Possibly. Dang. I love this magnet. This great. Woo! Of course, you, I love it. You got your perfect. <laughs> I got my perfect kill. stand. You got it, guys. Magnets are OP. Magnets are the explanation to everything. Magnets, man. Magnets. Well, you have to do it with like crazy hair in your eyes. Like you're like you're high. Like yeah. magnets. <laughs> wow. There you go, guys. Oh uh, well. How <laughs> do they deal with this? I mean, you um, don't want. You, you have to take out the stand user. Yeah, you don't want to bring other people into it without giving them the knowledge of what mm -hmm. they need to avoid. But right. it does seem like the kind of thing just Star Platinum comes in, just well, pulverizes Actually, no, her. here's, no, this is the real question. They're chasing this girl. Why are they chasing her? Why isn't Abdul just saying, all right, cool, yeah, we're magnetized, whatever, torch her. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> true. Fire isn't magnetic. Stands aren't. Yeah, that's true. Stands are not physical objects, so, so there you go. That is something that's that's interesting to bring up, though, is the idea of physical forces having an effect on stands if they come from other stands. Mm -hmm. So do stands sure. generate physical forces themselves? They have to, right? Yeah. Because they interact with the physical world. Mm -hmm. So would Silver Chariot <laughs> just get a hard counter or, by or, this stand? Or, or Star Platinum, because the... The oh, the bracers. Gauntlet, the bracers. So, Kakyoin. Just so many. Oh my god! <laughs> Horror shit! <laughs> oh my god! It's magnets! I oh love my god! this episode. Like, I loved it too. Like, <laughs> it's just the writer having so much fun. Oh, yeah. Araki oh, yeah. just having so much fun uh -huh. with the idea of what uh -huh. stands can do. Yeah, like, it's... it's Okay, the fact the fact that Joseph was the one that actually got targeted mm -hmm. and the, the the whole idea of Joseph having game <laughs> was an aspect of it. Sure. I, I am I'm so happy about that. Because see, the thing is we've seen Polnareff go crazy when there's a woman nearby. This right? is true. But here's the issue. Polnareff is never supposed to actually have any luck with women. Right. Right? right. And in this case, yeah. Joseph is literally having all the women around him just fall over him fall over literally him. yeah 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 exactly he doesn't even need to think about like <laughs> like anything just boom skirt up like there you go because naturally they all have buttons all along the rim of their skirts because you know because that's how you do of, things of course of i mean course. we shouldn't question iraqi's knowledge of fashion Jacob. that's true he is that's a fashionista true. himself and so. he does like metal objects put into clothing as displayed by jotaro so the real <laughs> question is will jotaro run into a conundrum where he's trying to save them but then suddenly the chain is being attracted to joseph and he has to debate whether he is going to take off his school uniform or worse tear the chain from his school uniform Nani. or be locked to them forever and unable in a, in to a, in stop in an the stand intimate embrace with his grandpa 
<laughs> the funny thing about this is that I look at this type of a power mm -hmm. and the way it's being used, and I'm like, this is what the shipping community would use. Yeah. They'd be like, and you are unconsciously, for no reason at all, attracted Just, to each yeah, other. Uh -huh. and, and nothing can change it. Deal and with it. It yeah. is the law of God. It is the word of God. You must um, yep. now just... Well, <laughs> see, that's why that's why it's just good that they weren't facing each other. Like, if if I was, <laughs> if they'd been like, Joseph, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they shouldn't be able to resist for long, Jacob. Eventually. Mm. Mm, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> limbs are going to go around. Um Okay. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. Okay. I think that JoJo's yeah. is the type of show that's going to have the ridiculous stuff happen all the way up until things are solved and made right. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what's the thing though that would make this stand almost unbeatable? What's that? A gun. Ha! <laughs> Bang! At this point, you don't need guns. You just well, right. need just stuff. Just well, yeah. throw but, stuff. But in also, that way. if you just got like, if you just got like the the, the powdered iron, like that's in like uh, like like etch -a sketches and things like that, <laughs> you basically just have a bag of it and you just <sighs> okay, so it spreads across some, their whole body, sticks across their whole body, right? Goes into their mouth, goes goes into their lungs. You know, like like because you know the oh, whole thing is like saying never they, swallow a magnet. Well, you know, yes, yes. Like, but there's there's also the the question of is his entire body magnetized because then it doesn't matter there is no like center point to the magnet inside him everything is the magnet meaning it all has the same what you if know, it get into his eyes well yeah yeah, yeah i would say that it wouldn't it would sure. have the a gun desire is to most go inside effective. him yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. anything that's really moving that at that speed with that much you know uh -huh. perfect aerodynamic mass or maybe cutting potential yeah, is it's, dangerous it's very dangerous very dangerous um, also if it starts attracting to them from farther away it gets more time to pick up speed rather than being something that's you know far away and then I, no I, I'm pretty sure the way magnets work it, it's just based on the um, the distance so it, it it doesn't right, but but yeah, yeah. I was just meaning that right. because uh -huh. it's growing, the yeah. magnetic strength is growing. That's all. What they really need to do though is they need to figure out how to use this. Because have you ever done one of those experiments where you Ooh. take the two magnets a fixed distance you from each other? Slingshot them. Well, you slingshot. Sure. Ra I mean, rail guns are a thing, but <laughs> um, which would be cool. That would be awesome. Yeah, they tried to find out the way that they're 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 opposite, mm -hmm. like they're they're get their positive charge and positive right. charge. Although that only each other, oh, and then they could no, no, like shoot something. No, no, but that wouldn't work because that only works with electromagnets because you slingshot it and oh. then you turn them off. That's true. Um, so that I mean, really I don't know. I, to be fair, I don't know enough about magnets to be talking about this seriously. Yeah. But this is hilarious because it feels like this episode was, was made for you, for me. Yeah, as I am the one that has memed in our Discord to death about um, magnets. And if yeah. you've watched our Maiden Abyss reactions, yeah, my theories yeah. there. Oh boy. But um. But, but oh my gosh. Oh my so, gosh. The the ridiculousness of just Joseph having to go mm -hmm. through all these kind of oh, yeah. ridiculous situations yep, yep. and having him find something that is legitimately like confusing. Why is a power outlet on this rock in the mm -hmm. middle of the desert? Right. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. Yeah. And it's a, it's a funny thing to mention that the the stand user Mariah is like, yeah, men are curious like that, and they are also physical beings, so they touch things that they might not necessarily be supposed to. And then of course they they make sure that any time they they basically have her in the shot, unless they're actually showing her face, they make sure to you know show the booty walk like like right there. Like I, it's I kept, I kept expecting there to be some sort of magnet thing that came into play ah! with that. Like, like legitimately, but it's like no, they just wanted to show her butt. You know you what know? it is, Jacob? You know what it is? The Their thing eyes that are most... magnetically being drawn well, to it. No, it's the thing that they most want to touch, but they shouldn't. And that will be the final thing that will destroy them and unlock no, the strongest that's how they aspect can, of their That's magnet. how they can disrupt the magnetism. They have to slap her butt. Yeah, like, exactly. Wow. Yeah. If that if that is literally it, and we just called it, ah, wow. <laughs> that'd be the funniest thing. Jo I do think Joseph's gonna be like, Whoosh. oh my god. Now, I think this is going to end with a star platinum slap, like a just sure. boof, and just. But here's dead, the thing. Instantly. Here's the thing. What if star platinum goes to slap and then, 
backhands Joseph right across the face. Yeah, I, um, we'll have to see how the whole mm-hmm. magnets thing interfere with with, stands. with actual stands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, of we'll course, see. there's the question of what is the actual stand? Is it the power outlet that she puts on the rocks? I think it's what? what I think it's what she actually conjures. It's it's probably the power outlet mm-hmm. in the, in the in the in the smallest standpoint of things. But I'm guessing there's potential for it to look like something else. Sure. I, I do like that it's something that looks odd enough and can probably be placed and unplaced very quickly and probably at a yeah, good uh-huh. range. Right. Meaning that she could be like, oh, someone's sliding their hand along this railing. I'm just going to have this thing suddenly just appear there and they'll go, Zzz! and then by the time they go back to look mm-hmm. at it, it disappears. Right. Um, That'd be pretty cool. The, one of the it other things that the I wonder side is things. why doesn't she care? Like, I get that she would need to be careful about this because she doesn't want the magnetism to work against her. Ah, true. But carry around, like, knives and, like, sheaths and stuff that are, like, you know, and, and then she just basically is like, okay, they're on this direction. You just kind of dump them over. Yeah, her. like, like, Gate of Babylon this. Like, I, I do think she wants to be careful. I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's that she drags them around things that are, you know, magnetic and stuff. Sure. And they just look like idiots. And if they ever basically point at her and say, she's doing this, she's just like, no, they're harassing me, and I'm just sure. running away from them. And yep. who's going to believe that they were turned into magnets and stuff? They just and look like idiots. Grenade. And then what do you mean grenade? She just pulls a pin out of a grenade. Let's go. Get sucked to them. They're dead. Oh. Okay, yeah. I, I think she's the type of character right now that doesn't care about killing them quickly. Right, especially since Sand it, does this. So well, she's and like, it gets more powerful the, the longer it's on and all that stuff. So yeah, she probably enjoys the chase and everything. And she's like, oh yeah, they're totally staring at my butt right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do like how she's not one that's saying a lot during this encounter. There's something about her kind of just like being mysterious for the sake of it i think uh-huh. sure. that makes uh that makes it makes her more interesting whereas what's his name the one stand guy who had to stay near them uh, uh right to watch well, what they would do he put the the little stand oh, yeah. in their their brain uh-huh. stuff yeah, yeah that was a uh, lovers lovers, lovers. Mm-hmm. yeah uh he was constantly yapping and talking because it made right. sense with his stand mm-hmm. whereas with her she kind of needs the illusion of that these guys are potentially chasing after her, and she has sure. that card to play at any point of saying, no, they're harassing me. Please keep them away from me in I, case they get too close, you know? I want to see how the other three of the Joe Bros handle this. <laughs> yes, because, me too! Because Joseph <laughs> and Abdul have been essentially CC'd, right? They're, they're, right. they're done. But Polnareff, specifically, he, like, he will get owned by her. Even if Silver Chariot is not able to be magnetized, okay. Polnareff's going to go down hard. Then there's the fact that Jo or that Jotaro has the chain, right? So that that would oh, be. Oh, you're saying Kakyoin is going to be the one to stop? Possibly her because they showed him in the beginning of the episode. I mean, I mean that did like oh. like he they did establish earlier that he was in the hospital and all that. Mm-hmm. But the fact that they showed Kakyoin first, it's like, hmm. Oh no, it's gonna be Iggy. Iggy's the one that's gonna save Iggy. Them. Does Iggy have a, any metal on the dog collar? Does he have a dog collar on? I think he does possibly who knows yeah Iggy might just also be smart enough to go and you know just go yeah. after her be like eh hey, no you annoy me or something mm-hmm. hopefully Iggy hasn't like eaten any like bolts or anything like I that love, I love the bit with the toilet and the sand and Joey <laughs> it just, just like just disintegrating just like, into the way oh! No, like, <laughs> not doing this. Yeah. There were so many Joseph just kind of yelling things uh-huh, in English, uh-huh. and it was just, it was just it was so wonderful. funny. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, this was, this was a hilarious episode. Mm-hmm. There's not really much to discuss about the stand user other than it's a very fun idea, and mm-hmm. it's very, it's very hilarious to see Abdul in this situation specifically because, because yeah. he's being increasingly like self-conscious about the whole thing. Uh-huh. And I'd say it makes it funny and also keeps us from wondering too much about why he's not just using his fire stand. Yeah, yeah. Which would be probably pretty helpful in this mm-hmm. instance of attacking her. Right. But who knows? Maybe on some level, Abdul is the kind of person 
where he doesn't like attacking the person with his stand. He likes uh, to attack sure. the stand with or, his or stand. Or he's like, I don't want to attack a lady. Like, you know. Possibly. Who knows? But but it was really funny to see Abdul, like, really freaking out about my, my, my reputation. The, the bathroom incidents are Polnareff's thing. Like, I, I, don't, I don't do that. Or well, like, oh, I have to go and peek? Like, well, oh. well, and just the fact of, you know, them running past and all the, all the occupied, you know, things open. Now, why the doors opened... That doesn't make sense because the handles on the doors, the bathroom stalls open inward. There were metal on those handles. Those handles were metal, so they should have to do is slide this way. Then they have to slide in the direction to unlock. But they're still from where they. No, no, for the unlocking, yeah, no, that totally okay. works. But for the doors opening, they were still on the outside of the stalls, so the magnetism should have been holding the doors shut. Because even if they got close and even if they were moving side to side, they're still on the other side. I don't know. Okay, maybe. But, yeah, maybe. unless unless it's like the metal on the handles was a different kind of metal or something. But I don't besides, it's Joe Jones. Would Comedic be... value, right? They, they yeah. do it, and, and you know, don't don't look too much into it, right? <laughs> um, but, but if you think but about, yes, I really want to see what the other characters do to, yeah, to yeah. solve this. Because, but like the nature of this stand, though, at the point where they're at, Joseph mm -hmm. and Abdul. They should be dead by now. Like they like, will probably end up more or less injured. Like they're gonna the have cars. Like like not not. Well, cars. there are no cars. Um, Jacob, have you seen a car recently? Okay, well, <laughs> well, they're they're, they're going the to have desert. every scrap there are no of roads. They're they're going to have every scrap of metal around. You know, like like even if it's not all there yet, mm. right? Because as the magnetism gets stronger, that also means its range is bigger. Yep. So yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we've had we've had like Joe, Tur we've had like blood spurting from everything and stuff. Oh like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Like until uh -huh. until we get an encounter where the stand and the stand user themselves like actively are, you know, sticking around mm -hmm. a character with the intent to kill them, I think then we can say that most of the characters are pretty safe for oh, now. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So. Uh, I think we're fine yes. for, for this stand user, but I also mm -hmm. think it's going to be pretty funny to see how she, I would say, this is why I think it's kind of mysterious and the fact that she doesn't talk as much, how she's going to respond to a showdown with some of the other characters. Mm -hmm. Does she talk a lot? Does she kind of <laughs> like smirk at them? Right. Like, what, mm -hmm. what's that interaction going to be like? And I feel like Jotaro is the kind of person who's like going to give the point of basically, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, time it for you it. to die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Release my gramps. But he most kind importantly, of... release my chain. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to direct this edge somewhere. Yeah. Hey, that could be how they find out where uh, Joseph and, and them are. Jotaro's just like, do, 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 and then... That's weird. <laughs> Why is Just that constantly happening? pointing yeah, yeah. where they need to go? I love it. That's amazing. All right, guys, this is a fun, goofy episode. If you want to see the next episode's reaction right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length reactions there. And all of this comes with Discord access where you can chat with us about stories, JoJo's random non-spoiler stuff, or whatever. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.